Hey everyone, Achika here, and it's Monday, so I have a special base video here for you guys on the channel. It's one of my bases, actually. It's a base tour, which I know have been very far and few between lately on the channel, but hopefully the next- I do have two more planned after this one, so hopefully they'll keep popping up on occasion. <laughs> it's just time's kind of gotten away from me, and also I haven't had much time to decorate myself either, so uh, besides the penguin, if you guys didn't see it, that was last Monday's tour. I'll link it up above for you guys to go check that out. Uh, but today we have a- uh, I don't really know how to describe- I guess it's one of my very first bases, so it's not gonna be super interesting. This base is circa, like, 2016, maybe? Um, it has been upgraded since its original, like, state. Uh, it's called Sunken Garden. It's a labyrinth. It's a hedge maze labyrinth inspired by the Minotaur, as well as ancient Greece, and, um... Yeah, I mean, this base was created back before large grass passes or ivy or ivy clusters were, were a thing. So there's... It's very minimal. Uh, it has, does have 500 spots, though, because I think I upgraded it right when we got the 500 spot upgrade and then have not touched it since. And then I went back, and I, I the reason it's taken me so long to showcase this one is because... Uh, rather than upgrade this one throughout the years, uh, I just decided to make a whole new base. So there's been a version 2 in the works. I've actually posted a few screenshots on my community tab a few times to show you guys. It's in the manor theme. Um, but yeah, so, but now I have a new base idea. And since all my bases are taken up on a chica, I need to tear it down. So... For for just you know archival sake, I thought I'd I thought I'd showcase it. So hopefully this is uh, this you know you guys find this kind of interesting. But yeah, let's go check out uh my one of my first bases, uh, Sunken Garden. <laughs> All right, it's in the ancient theme, and I think the teleporter is somewhere over in Suicide Slum because I think I did it. Uh, I'm not sure why I did it over there exactly. Maybe it was for dawn purposes or something. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> so again, it's very sparse. Um, and we only had small grass patches at the time, not large ones. So you'll see a lot of those littered around. I think the latest furniture update that I stopped decorating this was, uh, I think, the Demon's Plan. When the Demon's Plan came out. So, Or maybe it was actually Amazon Fury 3. I'm not sure. So, but we'll, we'll find out together. <laughs> Alright, so we enter here, and it's kind of this open garden. Um, there's a pond that's well been worn over. Again, it's extremely sparse, right? Like, it's... There are some canopies, there aren't some canopies. <laughs> I don't know if I added the canopies later, actually. I think that's probably what I did. Um, and then I stopped, because I was like, I think I'm going to reformat the base. I think the canopies came out around... No, I think the canopies have always been. I don't know why there's so sparse canopies in here, but it is what it is. <laughs> it's fun to see, like, early stages of uh, development for for creating bases, so. Um, but yeah, so we, again, just a worn-over garden, lots of statuary. And now you're starting to get into, like, the little corridors, right? So it's kind of, like, branching off for these statues to be in their own little confined areas. And again, all of them are broken down and worn. Debris everywhere. And this is where the maze begins. Oh, look! I did put a couple of ivy clusters in. So there are... So there are a couple of those. So I did come back and do that. <laughs> I think those are the only ones. There might be a few more later on. But I think for the most part it's just new genesis finds so so here you have a choice of which way you want to go uh let's take let's take the right route here first and again lots of minotauri things as you can see lots of hooves around and again like this it's a very basic labyrinth like it's just like oh this is just a crux here <laughs> so if we go this way we can see that there's a trap being set we have a a victim who has fallen prey to it. <laughs> Some rocks here. Again. And then uh, you can see the bridges up above and the debris, so it's like it's been worn over, so that's why it's crumbled in, ru in runes here. Alright, we'll go this way this time around. 
here we have a statue of Ares, and then also, all, I think most of my amenities are in here too. I think that's the R&D station actually for salvaging. <laughs> If we go too far, we have this. We have a pressure plate here for uh, for some fire to be sent our way. And as you can see, people have already fallen to their demise. <laughs> the eternal flame that wages. So I think this is one of the... the I think this was a sp another spike trap, actually, until the demon's plan stuff came out, and then I upgraded it a bit. So, <laughs> And I used the books as the pressure plate. Let's head upstairs then, because that's where this has spawned us. And for the railing here, because again, we didn't have uh, ivy, but it's the uh, the elder plaques from uh, Throne. <laughs> so that's what I littered the, uh, the sides here with, because I was like, I really want a banister. But they haven't given us a banister yet, so I did that. Alright, so we head up here, and then we have an altar to Poseidon. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Lots of bones. I think I started to redo this, and I put like a pond down and some waterfalls, and then I pulled it up and decided to just redo it. And again, I already have my little uh, Poseidon fountain in the sunken garden in the manor theme, if you guys have seen the screenshot. So, and it's. It's much more detailed <laughs> than what's going on here. All right, and we go further into the maze. We have Zeus, and again another altar. Uh, let's head this way. So if we go on again, more statues and trees overgrowing everything. The lion peeking out is kind of like a foreshadowing for this because then you turn around the corner and it's like jump scare! Boom! <laughs> and you have the lion's den and a lot of bones. So. <laughs> There's some of those aspects of this base that I really enjoy and I hope to bring to the other one too. So. Hopefully I can capture it. Go around this way. We have a statue here. Again, I don't really know what to say about this base because it's very basic. Oh, whoa, what? Ah. Oh man, we fell. We gotta go back. All right, there we go. <laughs> uh, it's pretty basic. Like I said, it's 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 one of the first bases I ever made, so it's it's pretty it's pretty bare bones here. Then we got. I love the vomiting of the the branches though out of the demon's mouth. <laughs> And the bridge gets a bit precarious here, and we have more, more statuary, as well as the bullhead. But again, yet alas, another dead end. I tried to make it look like the tree branches were holding up the bridge at certain points, or the vines were. So it wasn't just like a bridge suspended in, into the leafy area here. Okay, so I think that's the upstairs. And we'll go back down. Dun, dun, dun. And then we have a Hades statue here. As well as Hecate. I think I just used all the Grecian statues. And then we're back to where we were at the beginning. However, there is a secret passage to get downstairs. That's been overgrown by this archway. Oh, dude, I do have some ivy in here. <laughs> so, again, I must have renovated this at some point. Ta-da! Just gotta, just gotta do some, some hedge clearing. Some, a bit of trimming. <laughs> and then we enter the ancient royal chambers that are below, that are hidden away. Oh, there is some ivy! Okay, so I did, I did update a bit, like I said. So that's cool to know. Again, we see some more of the Eternal Flames, but this time with some artifacts around. There are all the Elder Plaques. <laughs> it took forever to to get back in the day. Actually, it didn't take too long back in the day to get those. The The loot pool was a lot smaller, and I think there were a lot more people run, like on the game where there were a lot of people that just didn't really care too much about furniture and were just selling it. So I collected them pretty easily. I really like the, like, I wish the dividers were, like, would go higher to, like, mask the face, because I really like this weird, like, 
angry yelling face that's here. Kind of reminds me of like when you, uh, what is it? I forget what you do in Silent Hill. I think like you take the cursed doll and you put it in your apartment, Silent Hill 4, and then all the faces start popping out of the wall. Kind of reminds me of that. <laughs> and here are the the chamber the the royal bed chambers here. So we got the bed. Of course, you know me, I have to have my tomes everywhere. Got a mirror, cauldron for some spells and potion making. No matter what, that's always pretty on brand with my characters. <laughs> And I think my bank is hidden behind this, too, yeah. Like I said, this has all my amenities, because this used to be my armory base, actually, because my armories used to be inlaid here, where the antique pedestals are. So my armories used to be in here, and now they're in Alchemy Casa. But yeah, uh, this is like a throne, this is the throne room here, artifacts. And because my armories were here, I had my respec station, so I can change out and all that good stuff. You know, back when my bases used to be functional and not for design <laughs> design purposes only, uh, they actually had everything in them. And the Athena statue was saved for the very end. I was an Athena gal back in the day, instead of Hecate, it seems, or a warrior. <laughs> And then we have a just a hall of warriors going to the teleporter. And I believe that is the end of our tour. <laughs> again, it's a basic base. It's it's again, it was one of the first ones that I ever made and I only touched it up a little bit. I think it was one of the 250 ones at first and then I came back in and I put the canopies up and the grass patches and the trees when those came out as well as the demon plant stuff and um, yeah, it's, it's just one of my very first bases, so I hope that was interesting to you guys. It was fun kind of going down memory lane and, uh, taking a look. I didn't really have too much to say because it's just like, it, it, it just was a labyrinth and it was just a fun, a fun base. Nothing, nothing super out of the ordinary. <laughs> um, but it is kind of cool to go back and see where you started decorating as opposed to where you are today and, uh, yeah, going back from what the penguin is and then now seeing this, it's just, it's really cool. I think it's, I think it's fun. It's almost like a, a base crafting photo album of sorts. <laughs> so yeah, that was Sunken Garden. Um, stay tuned actually for the updated version. I am nowhere near done completing that though. I think I'm going to need, um, a spot upgrade for that since it's the manor theme and it's very immersive. So I've, I've already eaten up quite a few spots and... I don't think I can get it to where I want it to be without quite a few more spots. So I think it's going to be in limbo for a bit. The whole idea for this was to, like, do a back-to-back -back video. So there's this one and then there's the other one. You know what I mean? So it was like, here's the the 2017 version and then here's the, you know, 2024 version kind of aspect of it. But uh, I have another idea for a base that I want on a Chica and I just, I think I'm going to have to get rid of this guy. So as much as it pains me to say, but you know what? You, you, sometimes you gotta, you gotta move on and there's always going to be an archive of it now because of you guys in the channel. So it's cool. <laughs> so yeah, that was Sunken Garden. Stay tuned for version 2.0 at some point in the, uh, the future. Hopefully, hopefully sooner rather than later. We'll see how that goes. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So, um, other new announcements, uh, just the base off is going on. Danny the base, uh, it'll always be linked at the end of the channel, as well as the fortress face off. You guys could go check both of those out if you want to do some base contest things. Uh, I got another Monday video coming up for you guys next week. Um, and then there's always the Wednesday and Saturday videos as well. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. So I think that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this and... Because I, I, it was kind of fun. I, I enjoyed going back through here. It makes me sad that I have to tear it down, but it's, it's cool to see it one last time before I do. So. so yeah, thank you for joining me in this tour. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care, everybody.